everyone. Your designers are here. I'm Anita from Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne from Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly from My Soulful Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice, so let's get started. I'm really excited to talk about choosing bedding today because I am sort of too. in the midst of that. Um, mm, love and bedding. And let's face it, me too. sleep is so very important and we want all of our listeners to get the best night's sleep they possibly can. Um, mm -hmm. Sleep is so important to your health and your happiness and your productivity. I know I'm a much better mommy when I've had a good night's mm -hmm. sleep and yeah, absolutely. I can get a lot more done. Uh, so bedding is super important, not just for the looks, but you know we're going to talk about the looks too. Mm. So, <laughs> because let, we all know pretty is important today. too. <laughs> That's right. It is. It is. Before we get into the details of bedding and our thoughts on different types of sheets and, and duvets and comforters and all that stuff, uh, Yvonne's going to talk to us a little bit about something she has to say about bedding <laughs> oh well uh, I mean you girls know I had I've had surgery and I haven't been able to walk for eight weeks which is just uh, a whole new experience unto yeah. itself but and you started of, today right I did start today and oh. you know the one thing I was looking forward to other than standing up on two feet was making my bed yes oh, <laughs> I oh wish my, my daughter felt that way <laughs> Bobby I mean he does many things he does not make the bed I, I and he has a whole philosophy on why you shouldn't make the bed but I don't buy into that oh is it the <laughs> airing out thing? yes absolutely oh, yeah. but um I I I can't even change my sheet so I have somebody who comes and helps me and I look so forward on uh to clean sheet Thursday you know it's like <laughs> oh I'm just so excited and we we have a, a Tempur-Pedic bed and we got the kind of bed it's, I feel like an old person saying this but we got the kind where the head goes up and the feet oh, go up oh stop and I said to Bobby <laughs> I know we bought this we just bought it like last year and we were in the store and he said isn't it oh, like side by side hospital beds no 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 I, oh cause see I sleep next to, I sleep in the middle of the bed like he can sleep on six inches and I sleep like all <laughs> over top of him but anyway I Bobby's said to like him like on a branch <laughs> yeah, really, really. And, you know, he goes to sleep. He lays down, and I can just hear him, like, not snoring, but, like, you know, your breathing changes a little heavier. And I'm thinking he can't possibly be asleep, you know. So I... So we laid down and the store, and he says, oh, you've, I told him we are not buying one of those beds. And so we went to the store and we're laying down. And he said, you've got to come and do this. Well, it has a zero gravity position. Oh, that really? That was it. Oh, 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 I was bought hook, line, and sinker. And I don't care that people say it's an old person's bed. <laughs> it is the most fabulous thing. What, like I, what is a zero gravity position? Yeah, what is position? that? It raises your head and cradles your back and raises your legs up and then bends at the knee. Oh, so wow. you're in this very cool position <laughs> that, oh. you know, you can watch TV or you can read. And I do I have to say, I do have a TV in our bedroom. I know that's a big no-no. But oh, anyway, okay. so getting back to this, the one bad thing about having a bed that the, the feet lift up, and it, it's actually been really good for my broken, for my ankle, um, is that your sheets untuck underneath and if any of our listeners has a remedy or knows how to fix that I would so love it because I get up every morning and you know I tuck it back under and make it all pretty and it feels so good well like by the third night the sheet has untucked and I'm now it crawls its way up to my neck and at night I'm strangling and I've got like the whole length of the whole sheet up around like I'm wearing it like a giant scarf around my neck at night so Yvonne and, didn't we just cover duct tape hello oh I know <laughs> you know that's a really good idea I didn't think of that no it's gonna ruin really but little you things. know I'm and so finally oh you know like four nights in I'm I just like rip it off the bed and like throw it out of the bed onto the floor and like who wants to sleep just with your quilt or your whatever your you yeah. know I want that nice I want that real good feeling of a sheet but yeah that strangulation feeling so I love <laughs> that feeling when you're sleeping yeah. I love that's the that's what I looked forward to the most other than standing so I could tuck the bottom of my sheet in. So this is oh, the fitted funny. sheet that would kind of bounce off? and No, not the I fitted think she sheet. Means the, the top sheet, sheet. Your top sheet. The top sheet did it. Wow. Yeah, and it would like creep up. It just, I mean, you what don't know. What about some elastic she, around the bottom that kind of keeps it in place? Would that help? 
Well, I don't know because I that even crossed like a my big mind. Piece of elastic all the way around the bed. Uh, yeah, the I even thought of um, like using uh, like Velcro. Yeah. You know, to the at the bot to the underneath side of my bed, yeah. and then just putting a strip of Velcro on my sheets and like Velcroing it to the bottom. But yeah, but that won't this be solved now that you can get up and make your own bed every day? And oh, it, well, yes, it will be. Yes, it will be. So I actually got up and 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 to be, you know, I thought, oh, they want me to use a walker. I'm thinking oh, I'm not using this thing, and I got up, but because you haven't walked for six weeks, I'm like my equilibrium was a little off. Oh, wow. So I didn't make the bed today, but believe me, I will make it before I get into bed tonight. Oh yes. And uh, uh, so a well, well made bed, bed is tonight. It, you can until, think about your yeah, sheets. Yeah. And, <laughs> it's strangling you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well. If your sheets aren't strangling you, that's a good thing. Um, but the quality of your sheets uh, is important too. Mm -hmm. So I know that every people know sheets by thread count, and people feel like the higher the thread count, the better the sheet. But mm -hmm. I've learned that that is not necessarily why don't true. You, uh, mm -hmm. Kelly, why don't you explain what thread count means? Okay, so thread count is really the fibers per uh, square inch of the the fabric mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so how many fibers there are um, it's the barometer of sort of the smoothness and the durability so mm -hmm. when you think about if there's the thread count is super high like 800,000 something like that the fibers are thin really mm. thin yes. you know the higher you go so that really can uh, affect the durability because if it's so thin they might not last that long oh, so really what okay. you want to look for is around 600 is mm, you know mm -hmm. some people say that's as really as high as you can go mm -hmm. maybe 800 um, it's I've like never SPF. had an 800 count I don't mm -hmm. even know what they feel like mm -hmm. yeah so if you are you know, in SBF, it's like, oh, you know, it was supposed to be, you know, 10 and 15 and 30. And now mm -hmm. you'll see ones like, you know, 100 or something like that. And I've heard that about SPF, too. Like, it doesn't, after a certain number, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really work any mm -hmm. differently. And I, yeah, I can liken that sort of to the thread count in the sheets. After mm -hmm. you're getting like about 600, um, you might be sacrificing durability and you're really not getting any more smoothness mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. softness. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Really what you want to focus on is the type of cotton. That's more mm -hmm. significant than the thread count itself. Well, okay. Kelly, so before does you anybody get into know what the best cotton the is? Cotton, I, I'm, I'm a fan of between like four a little you know anywhere around there at least four i'm i i love that that's like my sweet spot and do either of you know what is the best cotton um egyptian yes 100 percent egyptian cotton bing bing and bing, why i knew <laughs> that but i don't know but honestly i don't know why Mm -hmm. yeah, well, it's it has longer, Egyptian cotton has longer fibers, mm. so the longer fibers can continue through the fabric, so oh. they don't poke out. You know, I mean, oh, you're talking about like okay. microscopic yeah, little... Yeah, you don't real... Oh, okay. You know, that like makes a, a lot of sense. Right. It's like thinner than a thread, so you're not going to mm -hmm. see it poking so out. So is this something people really notice, it. or is this just something like a princess and the pea where only certain princess can tell the difference? Well, I am a princess, and I can tell. So it's hard for me to say, you know, what some of the, you know, the peasants might feel or not. <laughs> Silly girl, I'm not a princess, and I can tell. I'm so not a princess, and so not a diva. <laughs> no, you're not, Kelly. Um, divas don't have toolboxes, right? So this is true. Are that was our last but might, episode. But if they did, they would have a pink toolbox right and I don't have a big toolbox oh, okay we, yeah so mm -hmm. Egyptian uh, the the long fibers yes anybody should be able to feel the difference just by running your hand over it because the fibers are longer mm. thinner and it gives us that sumptuous mm -hmm. feel and mm -hmm. makes it more long lasting because you think if you had a lot of shorter oh. fibers and they stop and start it's it, the fabric's going to have more of a uh, you know, an opportunity to come apart or wear away. Mm -hmm. If the fiber mm -hmm. is very long and r runs the expanse, the fiber is going to be sturdier uh, and have this really luxurious feel to it. And so Kelly, the that I'm just thinking that mm -hmm. Egyptian, although it's 
a little bit of an invest, more of an investment, mm-hmm. it would be just that, a good investment because yes. it's something that will be durable and also, I mean, there is nothing better than getting in between two beautiful sheets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true, so true. true. So true. And yes, and you, so you, if you think to yourself, oh my gosh, and you, you know, you can spend, well, they can charge and do charge, you know, like $500 for a king size yeah. Egyptian cotton sheet set, mm-hmm. which, you know, a fitted and a top and probably two pillowcases. <laughs> now you think that's a lot of money, but if it lasts you mm-hmm. 10 or 15 years, True. you mm-hmm. divide that number by the number of nights you're sleeping on it, and it really isn't, you know, it's probably pennies a night. Again, Anita can do that math for us. Yes. <laughs> Our engineer can do that math. And, you know, that's a, that's a really good way to look at it because I look at everything I buy like, a ch- oh, I could have bought a chair. I could have gotten a chair for that. Yeah, mm-hmm. where I could yeah, have gotten I a agree. half a chair for that. I'm always somehow that's that's sort of how my mind goes. Like five hundred dollars for sheets. Oh my goodness, I could have gotten a chair. I know. You know? I so agree. Well, and I want to. And I have a- not done that until really mm-hmm. re- fairly recently when we were changing over to this house. I did a lot of research about bedding because mm-hmm. I knew I wanted to. I really want to make our bedroom a sanctuary, but let oh. me tell you, it is not getting there. There's still a load of laundry, you know, seems permanently <laughs> on my bed for folding. I, 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 when, if I go up the stairs and my door is shut a little bit more than normal, I know one of my girls is in there because she wanted to, you know, have some private time or get away yeah. from her sister. And like, oh, oh my gosh, I lost my sanctuary. So anyway, in my fantasy <laughs> life, I have a sanctuary bedroom. And I've done all the research, so I'm ready. The day that that can happen, I'm ready. Well, so I want to talk I have about the satin purchased, sheets. Yeah, Go ahead. I have. Oh no, not satin sheets. I have purchased an expensive set of sheets, and it makes a huge. Does difference. it? So I decided to take. Nice. Yeah, to take. I have to admit, that. I've. Ne- I don't have. I have good sheets, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't. I don't have a pair of what I would call investment sheets. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, they would not be lost on me. I would love that. No, and you deserve it after, you know, all this time with just waiting till Thursday for your bed to be made. Yeah, yeah. So Mm. we got, we have a pair of satin sheets for my daughter's bed that my aunt had bought and she said, oh, they're not working. So she gave them to us and we put them on our daughter's bed uh, because they're pink and, you know, they just go cute in a room. Oh, pretty. A twin size. Well, but the problem is what you were saying about the sheets coming loose, they just Mm -hmm. slide off. I don't know. Well, you probably would slide and out. And your daughter with it, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and they're just like, they slide. They, they're so hard to work with. I mean, I just haven't put them back on the bed. But I will tell you that satin pillowcase is absolutely the thing to do for your hair. I mean, if you don't you have time. You told me that. Isn't you've that got to get those Monroe yeah. thing. you got to do the satin. Well, my mother-in-law had the satin pillowcase. And, you know, for years of like, you know, oh, whatever. But she was right. I mean, it does help keep your hair uh, in great shape. So if you don't have time to wash it in the morning, I mean, it's going to look just as fresh in the morning. If Anita, you use that satin and you know, Why is that? it's all about how your hair looks. It is. If well, you don't I have think- a good hair day, sort of everything goes downhill from there. <laughs> Seriously. So, so Kelly, what I read. That's why I have a ponytail most of the time. (laughs) So Kelly, what I heard was, or what I read, is that cotton wicks out moisture from your body and Mm -hmm. from your hair, and the satin doesn't do that. So, and it's that dry. It's hot. Ew. And the dry. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, it's hot. So the satin um, doesn't do that. So the moisture stays in your hair, and therefore it kind of just stays, your hair stays the way it was. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. okay. But it, it right, works. Let me tell I'm you the you. next best um, After type Egyptian. Sheet. Yeah, so Egyptian, and maybe you mm-hmm. don't, maybe that price point is not something that, mm-hmm. you know, you're willing to go for. Or maybe you really don't like a uh, really super smooth feel. Maybe you like something that feels a little bit more uh, tactile. Natural. <laughs> right. So then you're going to go with a Pima. P-I-M-A Pima. cotton, mm-hmm. and it's uh, also known as the, the um, I think the trademark name is Supima, S-U-P-I-M-A. Yes, yes. I've seen that a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that I've actually is a, seen that on clothes. Yes. Oh, okay. Like so that's Pima another really nice shirt. kind of cotton. Mm-hmm. Again, with longer fibers than normal, regular okay. cotton. Um, so, you know, you should really look for that, and those are you know definitely markedly less than the 100% Egyptian cotton. Mm-hmm. And then there's something, uh, you know, people that you've seen sateen, Yes, uh, yes. Sheets. Okay, and they are, you know, sort of satiny, maybe almost look like a polished cotton, mm-hmm. you know, to your eye, but mm-hmm. softer than mm-hmm. that. 
Okay, so that is cotton yarns that are actually woven like a satin fabric would yes. be woven. Oh, so it's wow. the, the technique of the weaving mm -hmm. that creates that shine and creates the smoothness. So this is so also another nice option. The sateen is not the supima, is that right? Right, no, the supima is the... The Pima cotton is also called Supima. Okay. And then, mm -hmm. and that's, you know, kind of, a, you know, this, the second best, if you will, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Egyptian cotton. And then I was just explaining the sateen because people have seen that. You might be wondering. We have those sheets. What is that? And they're very nice. The only sheets I don't think you should ever get are sheets that are, n that have a synthetic fiber in them. Mm, yes. That's because true. I, I've done that and they like are those. hot yeah. Mm -hmm. And they don't wick well and they, they don't, just don't feel I just, right. No, they do not feel right. That would that be kind of like um the that tensil fabric, T E N C E L. That is a like a rayon type fabric. Yeah. I you see sheets mm -mm. in that a lot. And that's supposed to be like if you um are cold at night, that exactly. Kind of, well, it, then you know, I, don't, I, don't I am not. I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm hot yeah. all night, so that's mm -hmm. not gonna work for me. You are hot smoking. <laughs> <laughs> In her neck of the woods down in Texas, it's hot. Everybody's yeah. hot. Yeah, yeah. we're yes. all hot. That's right. So what, so, and, and I just sleep very hot at night. We have a fan going, you know, um, all night long, 365 days a year. What, what kind of bedding do you know or sheets work best if you just are hot? Linen. That's think, my Anita, favorite. I've like never, linen. ever, yeah. ever even slept on a linen sheet. Yeah, it keeps you really cool, oh, and I, I mean, it. they just get better and better over time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm where can you get? I mean, when I'm thinking linen, I'm thinking like nubby. No. Well, I mean, you, there's different types of linen, and I collect a lot of vintage and antique linens, so I can tell you there's quite a bit of difference in linens, especially in the vintage ones. So there's mm. certainly some linen that's very a uh, rough. Uh, texture those would be a, that would be a homespun linen mm -hmm. then there are much finer uh, we yeah, they're not we but there's a, a finer kind of linen that's looks much more like cotton that you can get so there's definitely different um, I don't know what, what to call it but there's uh, textures you know that you can get is there a the source sheet. you have for that that you could put on the show notes yes. actually i'd be very interested in that well, can you get a, a fitted sheet and a top sheet in oh in yeah, yeah. There's yes a company yes that i am just so enamored of it's called um bella note i love bella their note linens oh and yes. they're beautiful oh stunning i mean even just you know it's visually so sumptuous mm -hmm. to just go on their website even if you're not going to buy anything they have just they style the most beautiful beds and oh the colors are They're so gorgeous. stunning they're mm -hmm. they're pales usually like grays mm -hmm. and blushes and white gorgeous and, but but the way the linen is dyed it's so beautiful so and they sell to specialty stores all mm -hmm. over the country oh, so you they're know, so mm -hmm. well known in my you circle. girls are costing are me they? so yeah. much money i'm finding out about all these fabulous things oh and but I, no they have an outlet they have an outlet and that's how you can buy it where in california there's not one near me i don't think no online online oh, get out no, no. oh i am just the outlet queen bellanotelinensoutlet.com i'll put it in the show notes oh yeah oh, and i have do. to say i am the linen queen I, Yvonne may be the pillow queen, but I'm the linen queen. I, you know, I may give you a run for your money if I, I like these because be the I need of. them. Yes, but I mean, I love the linen sheets. I love linen on uh, slip covers. I love linen clothes. I mean, I just that is my very favorite fabric to work with anytime I'm making any kind of pillows or anything. It there's just and curtains too, but there's just mm -hmm. something about that linen fabric. It has a certain way that it 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 uh, lies that you cannot oh. get unless it's linen there it just has a very distinctive look i mean i can see it i can recognize it from across the room you so don't mind a, the wrinkles then it i mean see i like everything linen except clothes they look great the minute you put them on mm -hmm. and then i because it's so humid in the summer i look like a big wrinkled mess well uh, clothes are a little different i think they can look kind of messy when you're wearing them but mm -hmm. for for bedding, the wrinkles oh. are kind of part of how you know it's real linen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I wouldn't mind it for that. And see, here's, and a lot of it is the wrinkles are kind of desired. And when I make linen... I uh, love that wrinkles are desired. Can we say that again? <laughs> yes. How many, how many, things, how many things in the world wrinkles are desired? <laughs> they are preferable. And when I make linen, uh, anything with a linen ruffle, I actually make the ruffle 
with uh, the unwashed linen and then I wash it after I've made the ruffle and the way oh. it wrinkles together it it's doesn't just a beautiful oh. it wrinkles, See, I'm thinking, it wrinkles oh, it's together. gonna shrink well it does a little bit but the look is just stunning it is uh, that's the way I'd made my bed's uh, oh, my gonna, dust oh ruffle. your bed okay, spread yeah, is let's so t- beautiful let's talk about that so those. beautiful mm-hmm. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quinn's. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their ultra stretch super wide leg pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. So who does bed skirts or slash dust ruffles? I do. Me. Yeah, go ahead. Depends. Depends. Bed skirts, yes. I mean, uh, dust ruffles, you know, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, depending. If um, I need to hide something under the bed, <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, Body. it doesn't have, mm-hmm. I mean, if, if the bed lends itself to being plain, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But um, we have a bed that has a, um, the frame is it has a wooden frame like a wooden plank right below mm-hmm. on the outside but right below sort of the mattress mm-hmm. so you sort of can't see the bottom of the mattress right. and instead of putting a bed skirt on it because you talk about it's so hard oh, to get a so bed hard. skirt on I mean I have a I have an easy way to put them on but it takes two people mm-hmm. but what I did is got big tension rods and what? I just sewed like it looks like a mini <laughs> a mini a curtain like a cafe oh. curtain oh like you're gonna have a puppet show yeah that's exactly what I was that's funny. and I did it and, and I made a the well, you bed can do skirt. that with Anderson you can slide under the yeah. bed you know <laughs> the here comes Grammy but show. it's but but it, Gigi please it um oh, Gigi. <laughs> it it uh so I just make like a little um pocket at the top and a, and a hem at the bottom and then I just slip it on Wow, right. that's awesome. And then when I want to wash it, I take the tension rod off, pull it off, throw it in the wash. You can iron it straight, and then you just gather it on the tension rod. Okay, and you do so that around the three. Be... You do it around the two sides in the bottom of your bed. You're so okay, clever. Then there, there has to be enough wood sticking out where the tension rod can. Uh, the tension rod fits there. up under the yes, uh, yes, and okay. a lot of beds do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot. Of You'd beds be too. surprised. Well, let me tell you something again about Bella Note, which I noticed, and I. 
I didn't get this because I already have a linen um, bed skirt that is perfectly fabulous and you know I didn't need to buy another one but they have removable panels oh yes oh, yeah they, but they velcro right yes oh mm-hmm. that's, that's very nice. wonderful right because I, 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 it always takes two people to move a king mattress to put something mm-hmm. in this, and that True. is one of peter's mm. least favorite things to do yes so, i get uh, eye rolls here when there's my, any yeah, bed eye rolls, moving eye rolls yes. sometimes you get an audible eye roll so yeah. the important thing <laughs> yeah, right, about your bed skirt is that it's long enough you don't want it to be too short Mm-mm. that doesn't look so good and if you're going to have things under there maybe you can have a you know, a thin box with sweaters or something that you keep under your bed. Um, you don't want to have it too thin because you don't want to be able to see. So the right, thickness might right. count too. Well, yes. I love having that bed skirt on. It just kind of softens the bed. And I do have a mm-hmm. bedspread uh, that covers the the dust ruffle when the bed is made. But you know, your bed's not always made. Sometimes Anita, you, getting... you made that beautiful bedspread, right? I did. I did. Oh, we'll have it in the show notes. But Anita, tell us about this bedspread because it is. It's my favorite bedspread ever. Oh, thank you. Well, it's it's flat on the top. I think I'd call it a long drop bedspread. Mm-hmm. So it's flat on the top, but basically there's a ruffle that goes from the the top of the mattress all the way to the floor, and that and it's linen, so right? It's all I just work in linen. That's it. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. <laughs> well, after that slipcover situation with the synthetic fabric. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, the linen. that's right. Yeah. That's but our the, that's a podcast for blenders, right? <laughs> right, and I've made several of these uh, bed spreads. I did it in twall for my daughter's bed, so I've oh. made them for a couple of beds, and uh, sometimes, and then I made it for our day bed that was on the back porch too. So mm-hmm. I've made this. Oh, that's so pretty too. Several times, uh, but then for the bedding, I have a roll. Uh, I bought this. Speaking of antiques, I bought this antique French bedspread that's embroidered and it's just stunning I, it's just oh. quite a work of art and my plan was to make it into a duvet cover to put to fold up and put just at the foot of the bed over that mm-hmm. bedspread that mm-hmm. I made when I got that fabric out you know, I just love old things and I got my scissors out and I could not oh, make myself oh, cut yeah. it because it's a work of art yeah. and somebody made this and I just so what I ended up doing which anyone can do is I have a very fluffy duvet at the foot of my bed a white duvet and I just wrapped it in this linen antique French bedspread oh how pretty yeah and so you never you don't really can't tell that it's mm-hmm. not a covered duvet and so you just don't notice but you can see all of that beautiful embroidery work on the top of it well I love mm-hmm. that I love that and I feel the same way I mean just to think of all you know the people that touched that fabric mm. and that the woman who made it and then you know what she was using it for maybe it was a wedding gift or something mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. I get so caught up in the romance of, of old things <laughs> oh I just love it and then um, I well, have then I a t- go ahead oh, I'm sorry I have a white um, just one I got it from a friend who sent it to me a blogging friend years and years and years ago a white antique French um, bed sheet mm-hmm. and it's got that gorgeous big white embroidered monogram They're uh, at the top of the sheet oh and it's a little heavy but mm-hmm. for some and I love it I, it's cotton I'm sure it's not linen oh um, I, no I bet it is linen I have a I have a collection it, of those and well they usually, it doesn't feel like a lint maybe it is linen well, because it's my favorite one mm, it's my absolute favorite they usually one to are linen. under they usually are linen and uh and but that's what I'm telling you there's different maybe that's why I like it so much mm-hmm. it's but I, I they're just beautiful and <sighs> and if you get one of these and they're torn, go ahead and get it, and then you can take that monogram and make it, you know, for a pillow cover or something. Because they're yes, just, they're works yes. of art. They really well, are. Well, do you? How do you layer your beds? Do you layer beds? Yeah. Like with with mm-hmm. you know your bed. How do you do that? I mean, I sort of have a formula, but how do you do it? Well, what's well, your I formula? Found this interesting when I was reading, a, you know, doing a little background info on creating my bedding look for the house and do you know that duvets in Europe are in for anybody who doesn't know a duvet is you know like a comforter but it's the soft quilt inside and then you have the duvet cover that Mm -hmm. normally goes on with buttons or you can tie it Mm -hmm. on Mm -hmm. so duvets were really used not only as a blanket but a top sheet too oh yeah 
And we don't, uh, you know, we here in my house, and I'm guessing a lot of people in the U.S. don't use it that way. So, I, you know, we have a lot of layers. We have the bottom sheet. We have the top sheet. That's right. Uh, at this point, we have a couple of blankets of differing weights. Mm -hmm. Then we have the duvet on top of it. Then I've got something at the bottom. <laughs> well, and since, we're, since we're in Texas where it's so hot, my blanket is a heavy, it's a linen blanket. And it's perfect for here. Oh, it's very I'm lightweight. Have to look into this linen. It's pure white and it's beautiful Ooh, and fringed on the edges. I just love it. I layer. I have a you know a, a bottom sheet, a top sheet, and like I said, we just run hot. And uh, I keep a Madelaze quilt. Every bed of mine in my whole house has a white Madelaze, very thin quilt as a bedspread mm -hmm. nice I first love of all Whoa, because too. when I, I have a lot of company our house is like a hotel <laughs> so I don't want people to sleep on a bedspread somebody else has slept on so I mm -hmm. can throw that in the washer and the dryer and it comes out more beautiful every time Oh, well, you and know then, what I did at the girls at the farm is I ended up just I had matless egg quilts and I just took them all off and actually what I did was a sheet uh, you know, buy a footed sheet, sheet, a blanket, and then a sheet on top that I use as a bedspread. And they're yes. antique sheets that I just wash. Oh, that's a pretty. that's almost like a hotel look. Yes, I love and then that. I did the folded mm -hmm. uh, duvet at the foot. I just had um, seen something about I, I just there's a, sp a specific company we won't say who. I love the way their duvets look with their duvet covers in a, in the catalog, and I just read something that they said they stuffed them with two. Oh, I do that. And I learned that from working at a furniture store. Yeah, I do I, now duvets. I'm doing that, yes. especially mm -hmm. in my guest rooms that aren't being used. I mean, literally, it would be ve way too heavy on me, you know, mm -hmm. to put that on me. It is heavy, with. but people people say, wow, how, what kind of a duvet is that? And I'm saying, there's two in there. <laughs> oh, yes. My goodness. And so if you have a, a guest room bed that you're not using a lot or uh, just put two duvets in it and mm -hmm. it looks, that's what I do. It looks so stunning. So fluffy. So Yum. fluffy. Yes. Yes. Yummy. And then I and love the down to make a duvet, ones. you know, if you're just, yeah. even from sheets, right? I mean, you could just make a duvet from a, a cover. whatever size sheets from mm -hmm. the beds. The mm -hmm. duvet cover you're talking about. Yeah, the cover. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cover. Yeah. You really could. Yeah, beautiful. What do you think about those sheets, those, um, like the whole sheet comforter sets? How do you feel about those? I'm interested in those, actually. The kind that zip? No, is that like what you're the talking kind about? just like it's all matchy matchy. Oh, one. no, oh. no, no. I thought, because there is a duvet that has the top sheet on it. I know it. what you're talking about. It's kind of but, for kids' beds. No, I've seen it for it adults you that you can zip, and I think, wow, right. that's pretty ingenious. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. but I'm not doing that. I haven't heard of that, no. I'm not doing but the you, zipper bed. And you're talking about things that, like uh, a sets that, that like the ben, pillow ben the sham and, the, and everything is all, mm, yeah. no, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah unless no, you're I going like to college, like mm -hmm. there's no need for that. Yeah. No need. Mm -mm. Inevitably, with the new year come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. 
And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. And what about pillows? How many pill- like decorative pillows do you put on your bed? Oh, well, I tr- yeah. I'm trying to limit. I'm Are you? To limit. Yeah. I, 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 but I have some bell- <laughs> I have but my pillows I have are Bellinote, and they are gorgeous. Okay, Ooh. I'm I'm gonna have because you know oh, we're you redoing oh. our master bedroom this spring, so um, yeah, I'll definitely have to look into that. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, what about real? I know we're getting close to uh, you know wrapping know. it up. Just a probably. few more minutes. Oh. Oh, <laughs> but let's, can we talk about? Um, Gosh, I wish we were all like sitting in our pajamas on our bed talking. Yeah, yes, really. I know. Yeah, that would be better. Pajama let's party. Just pretend that's what we're doing. Um, what about? The actual sleeping pillows. I have no luck with actual sleeping pillows. Oh, oh! You know, no matter. It seems to me, no matter how much I pay, or then I say, "Well, I just paid that much, and it, it's not so great anyway." Let it me is get a such cheap a personal one. preference. Oh, oh mine don't has you to be think? down. Mine has to be down. And oh, I, see, and, and I don't I usually, like down. You're kidding! I can't sleep. No. My, oh, it has to be down. Mm-mm. They get yeah, too smushy. I, well, I, 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 I squish them together. I, I know. You just kind of uh, squish them into a ball, and they're just mm-hmm. right. You kind okay. of form them into the way you want them, and they form, yes. But the foam ones, you can't do that with. I, just, I can't do the foam. Well, I want to get, I do have a, um, I don't know what it's even made out of. It's not fiberfill. It's made out well, of something Well, maybe like else. a memory foam? I've noticed they started making No, my husband sleeps foam. on that, and he loves it. Okay. It's a little too hard for me. I think it's like sleeping on a rock. Well, but, it you sounds know. like the temper, the, what are the... Yeah, the temper, it's almost like a temper pedic material. Okay, Peter had something wrong with his neck, a really bad, like, what, muscle pulled mm-hmm. or something for a while, and I said, oh, okay, I'm going to get him one of these pillows, and we called it the curb. It was like you were laying in the road. <laughs> yeah, like a rock. The curb. <laughs> the curb. <laughs> and I was like, just just try it and he's like I can't okay I'm gonna try the curb for a week but if it doesn't get any better did it help his neck no oh, and he didn't no. and he couldn't sleep because he was on the went on the curb oh well, no. you know and, and pillows are just such a personal thing I've gone through so many to find like the right one well and I guess I just my have kids to keep of my course, quest up for that yeah my kids are Pillow, grown and um, but I have I buy their pillows and they take them home because they like them. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute, who took that pillow, you know? <laughs> well, then so you're I, mommy, mommy's going back to the store and buying more. Oh, that's, that's funny. So funny. Yeah. Well, layering layering beds, we, we really need to spend a whole nother podcast just yes, on how to decorate true. your bed. That's a good idea because yeah. we have so that. much to cover today on the, the, you know, the real basics, the foundational bits sure. of your bed. Um, yes. So let's, yeah, let's get that in the schedule and we'll put all our ideas and thoughts in the show notes for all of you. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of mm-hmm. tips and a lot of things I've not even heard of. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, girls. Hope, I hope everyone enjoyed today. I hope we didn't put you to sleep. Yeah. Hope no. you, hope <laughs> or maybe that would well be a good tonight. thing. Yes. And, and and we have to go and I just hate to go because there's so much else we could say but uh, we just want you to know that we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home until next time hey there if you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast we would love you to rate and review us head to iTunes to do that it's easy and it would mean so much to us and if you do rate and review us we're going to enter you to win a fantastic giveaway the details are for the giveaway are in the show notes for this episode and you can find the show notes at decoratingtipsandtricks.com.